workout, let's get cracking. Now yesterday, if you tuned in, these things failed me, not these, but something similar. I was doing my exercises and uh, snapped. It was, <laughs> it was pretty funny, but this is the exact exercise I was attempting yesterday. That midsection, nice and tight. And of course, you're engaging the, uh, the tries. That nice horseshoe shaped muscle on that upper arm. But you're trying to work that core. You're trying to twist that midsection, flexing just a bit. I like to flex the midsection, hold it very tightly as I turn and extend and punch out. But that contraction has to be from that midsection to make this work. I open up with this because it engages the entire upper body as well as the core and with my soft knees my legs are taking part also. How about four more for time? One, two, three, four. One for good measure. Now, pulling these <clears throat> resistance bands nice and tight. I'm squatting. I'm squatting and pulling. Squatting and pulling. Squatting and pulling. We want to involve the entire body as much as we can. Isolation movements are fantastic. They certainly have a place, but if you're going for expediency and time spent working out where you can get on to other things, in other words, live your life, you may want to incorporate <clears throat> as many muscle groups as you can with your exercise. How about four more? Big stretch of the lats. I'm adding that squat. My glutes are tight, my quads are tight. Nice. Nice, okay. Now, just a simple curl with the arms in this position. If you have something to attach that resistance band, that's fantastic, if not, not the same, improvise. Actors do it, you can do it. Here we go. Nice. Squeezing that bicep. I'm carrying that weight down. I was actually a little bit quick with those first two repetitions. I'm carrying that weight down. Nice and easy. I'm fighting the resistance all the way down, for sure. Flexing the biceps, flexing. And I'm standing far enough away from my bench so the resistance is constant. Two more. Feeling a pretty good pump already. Gonna take off. high knees just because I feel like it come on isn't that something I got a nice pair of dumbbells right nearby so I can get my squats going and my flip press squat flip Flip. Now you can keep those reps high following my plan. I may not go as high as I would if you weren't with me, but since we're somewhat pressed for time, 
will go to a lower rep scheme, but you can go to 15. Now, with no rest whatsoever between sets, back is flat, the dumbbell bent over row, you've seen it done, must protect the back on this one. Knees soft, back flat, row, row. Three more. One, two, three. Very nice, very nice. Now, I'm gonna hit the traps just a bit with our dumbbells once again. You know, I see people do shrugs. The dumbbell shrug with all this rolling of the shoulder, not good. All you're doing is using your hands as little hooks to hold the dumbbells. Your power is coming from these traps. You're straight up pinning those shoulders to the ears, kind of. A lot of concentration on this one. Making sure that my force comes from the traps. That nice muscle extending from the neck to the deltoids. It's a nice muscle. It looks great. And it helps you in everyday tasks. That's for sure. How about two more? One. Two. Yes. Notice. I'm lowering that weight, always under control, nice and slow. Who said that in the movies? That's the way you do it, nice and slow. <laughs> We're gonna use these stairs to my advantage. Oop. I'm gonna go down nice and tight. right into my favorite one of little twisting jump squat. Nice. Now, we'll elevate the feet for that push-up. And by the way, notice I'm winded, but not tremendously so where I can't speak. I've said that before and that's, that bears mentioning once again, I'm winded, but if I had a partner here, we could still carry on a conversation with not too much trouble. How about two more? I think I hit 15 on this one. Nice. Hey, what's happening? Just a quick note, subscribe, please. Right now, before anything else, I appreciate it. Keeps me going, keeps me motivated, keeps me knowing you're out there, and increases my, I guess, my incentive to go on. It helps me. I really appreciate it. Subscribe right now. Thanks. Just for a little variation, sinking nice and low. Nice big stretch of the lats and of course I'm nice and low with my stance pulling on that arm aren't you having fun hope so I actually enjoy this very much I hope you do yes I'm applying you know with any stretch you apply tension very gradually you're not starting like that. You're starting softly and eventually elongating your stretch. Using this top of this bench, I'll just do some glutes.
just a short movement, flexing the gluteus here. Your rear end, that's technical. Okay. How about four more? Two, three, four, nice. Just for the loosening effect and the range of motion that this provides. And it feels good. Working those obliques along with those abs, opening up here, flexing here, opening up here, so on and so forth, as we go. Four good ones. Two, three, four. Now we switch over. Other leg gets the same treatment. Or I should say other glute. There we go. And of course the leg is in this movement. I mean, you can't help but engage the quad and the hamstring, but you want to focus on that rear end, as I mentioned. How about eight more? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we go right in. I like to transition from exercise to exercise easily. I see too many people in gyms and these type of places uh, ponder between sets, wondering what they're going to do when they have a perfectly good station, a, a weight training station of some kind right in front of them. They're able to use it, but they have to stay within their schedule. So they wait for the a piece of equipment that they want to use to be open. I, I don't see that. There's so many different uh, variations and alternatives. You don't need, need to do that ever. One, two, three, four. You see, nothing set in stone. I like the improvisational feel of a workout where you have all kinds of exercises at your disposal and keeping in mind that symmet uh, symmetrical look that we're shooting for. You hit every muscle group every single time you train every time you go to the gym. Using the hill, little figure eights. Coming up the same way. Yes, and that feels good. One. Stretching those hamstrings. Calisthenics could be a part of your routine. A forgotten tool that if you use it to your advantage, you're ahead of the game. Athleticism is where we want to go. We don't want a, a body or a physique that's dysfunctional. This one, <clears throat> I'm trying to get my legs out of the movement and think about that midsection side to side, side to side for variation. Just to continue somewhat in that vein. I'm sorry, this way. Dip position. Push. Bend the knee. Contract the abs. Push with the tries. How about four more on this side? back again. The 
other way. Evening the score, that's all I'm doing. A little windy today, I hope you can hear me well. Three more. Good. This one. I wonder if I have room here. I think I do. Sorry. Look at that twist. Look at that twist. Chubby Checker never had it so good. Anything to work that core. From different angles. Nice. I'm going to finish off with a full run. If you can turn and pan, look at the course that I have here. Down that path, down that stairway, all the way out on that sidewalk, all the way up that hill. I'll finish off with about three or four rounds of that to complete my, I guess we've been at it for about 20 minutes or so. And that'll be it for the day. Maybe later on, I'll stop into the gym. Maybe later on, I'll do some more stuff at home. I'm 60 years old, and this kind of training has done me pretty well. It can work for you. Now, follow me out, and you can watch me as I run this course. You'll keep that camera on me the entire way. my YouTube page, please. I'll see you tomorrow.